and I'm going to give each one of you a pan. Okay, just hold that pan right there. Don't worry, we're not doing any cooking. No cooking today, Taylor. No cooking, Emily. No cooking, Ellis, but that's all right. We're going to put something else in the pan. Now, what we're going to put in the pan, I have a bigger pan right here, and inside this pan, I've got a bunch of pieces of paper. Now, these pieces of paper are going to represent some bad things, some bad things that people do. All right, now, Ellis, now, what is, um, uh, what is something that you know that's wrong? Say it real loud, because I don't have a handheld mic. What's something you know that's wrong? Can y'all help him out? Yeah, line. Somebody said line. Okay, now look at this. Ellis in Ellis's, check this out. I'm going to put one piece of paper. One lie. That's it. Just one. Now, over here, Taylor, in yours, I'm going to put a couple of wrong things. Maybe this person disobeyed their mom and dad. You know, mama said, don't get a cookie before supper. And they went, they got a cookie before supper. Maybe this person, maybe this person, they, um, uh, maybe they said a bad word. Okay, maybe this person, maybe they, um, uh, maybe they got mad at their brother and sister. And, and they like punched their brother, they were mean, mean and selfish. So I just put a couple of things in there. Just a couple. Now, over here, okay, you're going to have a whole bunch. Okay, because this guy right here, he's done a lot of bad stuff. I mean, look at this. This guy right here, okay, yeah, he disobeyed his mom. He cheated on a test. He talked back to his teacher. Look at this. He stole something. He stole something. Look at that. He was mean and selfish, and he told stories that weren't true, and he used God's name in vain. Boy, he's done a bunch of bad stuff. Look at all that bad stuff. I'm going to just keep on stuffing it, and not just little bad stuff. Look, I got a big one right here. Now, I don't know what this stands for, but it's going to be something really big big bad that that guy right there did. Okay. Now of these three, of these three right here, their lives, this person's done a bunch of bad stuff. This person here's done a few bad things. And this person here just told a lie. Which one of those three is going to heaven? Okay. On the count of three, I want you to say none. Ready? One, two, three. None of them, the Bible says, deserve to go to heaven because, is this person perfect? No. Is this person perfect? Is this person perfect? But they just did one bad thing. One bad thing is enough to keep you out of heaven. But then let's say, let's say this person here, let's say this person here, even though they've done a bunch of bad things, they hear about Jesus and how he died for their sin. Because when Jesus died on the cross, God punished him for all the bad things you would ever do. And he hears that and he knows he's done a bunch of bad things. And he hears if he asks Jesus to come into his life, that Jesus will take all his sins away and forgive him. And that that's why Jesus died and rose again. And this guy right here, he decides, he decides what three of you earlier today decided, which is I need to give my life to Jesus. And so this person right here prays and asks Jesus to take his sins away. Now, Emily, I want you to hold it out, hold it out, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to light it on fire. And for a moment, it's going to go poof like that right there. I'm just giving you a little warning here, okay? So this guy, he says, Jesus, who is the light of the world, he says, Jesus, I'm sorry for the wrong things I've done. I give you my life. And the moment he asks Jesus into his life, God takes every wrong thing he's ever done. It's all right. I've got you safe. Every wrong thing he's ever done, and look at that. It is gone. It is gone. Now look at this. This guy right now, he's going to heaven. You know why he's going to heaven? Because Jesus has taken all his sins away. Is there anything in his life separating him from God now? Even though he had done a bunch of bad stuff, you know what? Now he's saved. Now let's say this person right here, <clears throat> Taylor, hold it out. She's like, whoa, I saw that. Okay, now this won't be as big because you don't have near as much. Yeah, Emily, just stand right over here. That's great, that's great. Let's say this guy comes. Oh, if you want me to hold it, I'll hold it. You want me to hold it? Okay, you just stand right there. All right, this guy comes. And even though he's only done a few wrong things, he comes and says, Jesus, I'm sorry for the wrong things that I have done. I give you my life. And he asks Jesus to come into his life. And just like that, God takes every wrong thing he's ever done. And it's gone. It's gone. Okay, Taylor, come on back over here now. Yeah, there's nothing in there. No more flame. All right, come on over here, Emily. Now, hold those out. In fact, hold them up where everybody can see what's inside. Now, look, these two people... There's no sin separating them from God because they've given their life to Jesus. They've been saved. But now there's this guy over here. And look, 
He's only done one bad thing. But the Bible says, even though he's only done one bad thing, the Bible says, if he never gives his life to Jesus, he can't go to heaven. Because he's not perfect. Now guys, there's nobody in the world that's just done one bad thing. If you think about the bad things you've done, the day I heard about Jesus, I had heard about him. But the day I really heard about him, I was in a car. And Emily, I was on my way to a baseball game. And Emily, what I did, I was in the back seat of the car. And my mama was in the front and my dad was driving. And there was a preacher on the radio. I mean, he wasn't like, you know, sitting on the radio. But he was talking on the radio. And he said, he said one bad thing is enough to keep you out of heaven. And Emily, I started thinking about all the bad things. Because I knew I'd done more than one. I started counting all the bad things that I had done that day. And I realized there was no way that I was going to heaven. And it scared me. And so I went to my mama. And I said, Mama, I said, I'm not sure I'm going to heaven. And my mama told me about how Jesus died and rose again to make a way to save me from my sins. And that day, Emily, I did the best thing that I've ever done. And I prayed and I gave my life to Jesus. And because of that, Jesus took all my sins away. He forgave them. And I know for sure that I'm going to heaven, not because I go to church. Not because I got baptized. Not because I'm good. I know I'm going to heaven because I gave my life to Jesus. And guys, today, if you're not sure that you're going to heaven, and you know that there's sin in your life, you know you've done wrong things. The Bible says the moment that you come to Jesus and say, Jesus, I'm sorry for the wrong things I've done, that God will take every wrong thing you've done, and in that heartbeat where you give him your life, he'll take all your sins away, and he'll save you from your sin. All right. I want you to give Ellis, Emily Taylor, give them a hand. Guys, thanks for helping me. You guys can have a seat. You guys did a great job.